with deserts, mountains, and deep woods as physical barriers to agricultural and pastoral activity. The objective of food security has grown increasingly challenging to achieve during the past century. For a limited amount of agricultural produce, there is increasing competition. However, some nations have been able to break the cycle of food insecurity because of the political commitment of governments to make food security a top priority, as well as the application of innovative crop and food production technologies. So it's just fitting we outline the most food secure countries in Africa. This way we can see exactly what makes the difference between the various African countries and hopefully understand why food is so scarce in most African countries. 15. Ivory Coast One of the worst effects of widespread hunger has been successfully combated in Ivory Coast. Stunted growth in children. Stunting and wasting rates for kids under 5 decreased to 21.6% and 6.1%, respectively, between 2012 and 2021. For emerging nations, the average rates are 25 and 8.9%. The promotion of nursing exclusively for infants is another area where the Ivory Coast has made progress in its fight against hunger. Rates of exclusive breastfeeding increased from 12% to 23.5% between 2012 and 2021. The World Food Programme has collaborated with the Ivorian government to fight childhood hunger in Ivory Coast. In Ivory Coast's primary schools, the World Food Programme provides both classroom and take-home meals. The group had planned to extend its reach to 125,000 pupils in unstable areas before the COVID-19 crisis. The Ivory Coast has also had success battling extreme food insecurity. In the past, this problem had vanished from the nation until appearing again in 2020. From 12.8% in 2015 to 10.8% in 2020, the overall rate of food insecurity has decreased. 14. Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea imports around 70% of the food it consumes, primarily through commercial channels, as it only produces a small amount of food domestically. With a population of roughly 1.4 million, the expected imports of wheat, rice and chicken meat in 2021 were around 31,000 tons, 24,000 tons, and 30,500 tons respectively. About 284,000 hectares, or 10% of the entire nation area, are used for agriculture. The majority of this land is covered with permanent crops and income crops including cocoa, coffee, coconut, and fruit trees. Of this, about 180,000 hectares are utilized for the cultivation of staple foods such as cassava, sweet potatoes, plantains, groundnuts, and bananas. Wheat flour, rice, and chicken meat are additional staples that are mainly imported. 13. Gabon With a robust national food and nutrition security policy and a budgeted action plan, Gabon is on pace to meet its objectives for food and nutrition security. Additionally, the nation has a national food guide, national dietary recommendations, a national communication strategy, and a subregional strategy that takes nutrition-sensitive industries into account. Although there are no official advocacy frameworks or plans in Gabon, advocacy has been made toward many parties. The Ministry of Agriculture organized a nationwide conversation on food systems in 2021 that covered nutrition. Cost estimates for the National Food and Nutrition Security Policy have been confirmed, but the lack of a specific legal standing for the National Food and Nutrition Security Policy has made it difficult to raise money for its implementation. The fight to change this is still going on. The government, the UN, and technical aid from the CERN movement are the three key actors who support nutrition in the nation. Although relatively modest, funding continues to be aligned with national priorities. Every two years, the nutrition sector's budget is examined. 12. Tanzania Tanzania's GDP 
is roughly one-third derived from agriculture. Although there are many internal and external obstacles, Tanzania is constantly working to improve this facet of its society. Food security is influenced by a number of factors, such as climate change, environmental changes, agricultural policy, economic growth, and governance. Furthermore, a population's access to food or lack thereof might have long-term effects. Although there may be numerous barriers standing in Tanzania's way of achieving complete food security, the country keeps finding methods to advance. More than 190,000 hectares of Tanzanian land have improved agricultural and technological practices, according to USAID. Furthermore, as a result of Tanzania and USAID working together to advance sustainable agriculture and a stronger emphasis on nutrition, often known as the Sustainable Development Goal, the overall production of rice per acre has actually doubled. 11. Botswana With a global food security score of more than 50%, Botswana and South Africa are considered to be the most developed nations in all of sub-Saharan Africa. A government agency in Botswana is in charge of enhancing food security and promoting agricultural development through local production, lowering import costs, sector diversification, value addition, jobs and promotion of local food consumption, as well as the creation of agriculturally based poverty eradication projects. A commercialized, diverse, sustainable and competitive agricultural sector is also promoted by the government through the transfer of business skills, the encouragement of agricultural cooperatives and associations, the negotiation of market access, the promotion of investment and the encouragement of market-driven production. Through the prevention and control of economically and nationally significant animal diseases, the government offers services for both public and animal health to promote a sustainable and competitive cattle industry. 10. Namibia The majority of Namibia's population relies directly or indirectly on the agricultural industry for their living, making it one of the country's most significant industries. Over the past five years, agriculture has contributed slightly more than 4% of the nation's GDP. Two-thirds of agricultural production is made up of livestock farming, with the remaining one-third coming from crop farming and forestry. South of the Sahara Desert, Namibia is the driest country due to its low average and very unpredictable rainfall. In the majority of the country, water scarcity is a constant problem and a perpetual difficulty. Because of this environment, agricultural potential is primarily restricted to livestock farming and high-value crops like dates and grapes, which are targeted towards the export market. This climate also implies that the potential for arable agriculture is generally limited. Namibia was the first and only African nation to export beef to the United States in March 2020. Value chain operations offer investment prospects, notably those involving the processing of meat and closely associated businesses like canning, tanning and leather goods. Production of medicines, animal vaccines and veterinary services could all present profitable investment prospects. 9. Senegal Senegal, which has the fourth largest economy in the West African area, continues to be one of the most stable nations in Africa. The European Union, India, Brazil and China are Senegal's leading food and beverage importers, followed by regional trading partners Ivory Coast and Ghana. Approximately 70% of Senegal's overall food supply is imported, while the United States only holds a tiny 1% of the global market. With over 77% of the workforce employed in it and a GDP contribution of about 15%, agriculture is a key economic indicator. Despite the significance of agriculture, Senegal is located in the Sahel region, which is prone to drought and has patchy rainfall and generally supper soils. As a result, almost 70% of Senegal's food requirements are satisfied by imports. 
with corn accounting for $5 million of the $16 million in food and agricultural exports to Senegal in 2021. The U.S. feed grains and a few consumer-focused goods are the best prospects for American agricultural exports to Senegal. 8. Ghana Due to its advantageous location, Ghana has long been promoted to the rest of the world as the entryway to Africa. Ghana offers a good transshipment point for food and beverages intended for the larger West Africa market. Ghana is also working to make its seaports more competitive along the beaches of West Africa. Groceries imported from the United States can be shipped again to West African nations next to Ghana, where there is a market of over 400 million people. Ghana continues to be a significant food importer in 2021. It is anticipated that imports of agriculture and associated goods will total $1.9 billion. Imports of food and agricultural products will increase because Ghana's weak food processing industry cannot keep up with rising demand. The majority of food imports are comprised of bulk, intermediate and consumer goods such rice, wheat, soybean meal and poultry. The value of American exports of agricultural and associated goods to Ghana in 2021 increased by nearly 48.0% to $156.6 million. 7. South Africa The agricultural industry in South Africa is among the most diverse in the world. With both corporate and private intensive and large crop farming systems producing vegetables, fruit, nuts, grains and other crops. The backbone of South Africa's agricultural economy is its well-developed commercial farming industry which had the strongest growth rate of any economic sector in 2020, coming in at 13.1%. The climate of South Africa spans from subtropical to Mediterranean, providing a wide range of farming opportunities. The biodiversity of the nation assures that goods like cereals, fruit, and wine are exported and highly favored for their remarkable quality. Enhancing subsistence farming or unorganized small-scale farming is becoming more and more important in South Africa. With the exception of rice, all major grains, oilseeds, subtropical and deciduous fruits, sugar, citrus, wine, and the majority of vegetables are produced in South Africa's market-oriented agricultural sector. Cattle, dairy, hogs, sheep, and well-established poultry and egg industries are all included in the production of livestock. 6. Gerben About 20% of the workforce in Gerben is employed in the country's agricultural industry, which produces food crops, rubber and palm oil. However, the sector's share of the GDP in 2021 was barely 5%. The majority of the country's food consumption in Gerben is sourced from imports. The main countries from which foods are imported are France, South Africa, and Cameroon. Over 800 kilometers of coastline, 1 million hectares of arable land, and 22 million hectares of forest make up Gabon. A rising number of business people in Gabon are making items that are suitable for export, such as dried fruit and preserves, spices, and palm oil. Members of the African Women's Entrepreneurship Program in Gabon are several producers. Wholesale merchants may have chances if these products are exported to the United States under the trade preference provisions of the African Growth and Opportunity Act. 5. Egypt Potatoes, cotton and fresh fruit, mostly citrus, are Egypt's main agricultural exports to the rest of the world. The EU, Russia, North Africa, and the Middle East are the primary destinations of Egypt's exports. Egyptian food and agricultural exports to the United States in 2018 hit a new high of $151 million, an increase of 19%, or $24.5 million from the previous year. Processed fruit and vegetables, spices, essential oils, and herbs were the main exports to the United States. Egypt's 2030 vision includes measures to ensure food security, including sustainable development, import reduction, 
the establishment of new agricultural communities, the creation of job opportunities, and climate change adaptation. 4. Algeria. In its efforts to diversify the economy, the government of Algeria places a high priority on the agricultural sector. In order to cut down on import costs, Algeria's agricultural development policy places a special emphasis on increasing food output and quality. To attain self-sufficiency and boost exports, the government supports the agriculture sector's continuing growth and modernization. 20% of the population works in rural areas and the agriculture sector provides 12.3% to Algeria's GDP. The amount of arable land in Algeria is 8.5 million hectares. The government of Algeria is providing the private sector with public land for agricultural usage at preferential rates in order to foster the formation of contemporary agricultural farms, particularly in the grain and dairy industries. 3. Morocco Together with the fisheries and forestry industries, agriculture accounts for over 13% of Morocco's GDP and employs 31% of the country's workers. Due to the very variable grain output based on rain irrigation, its employment value, and its importance as a major export industry, it has a disproportionately large impact on the economy. Morocco is a net importer of goods connected to agriculture. Typically, Morocco buys large quantities of raw materials and commodities from the United States and exports high-value, consumer-oriented goods to that country. About 60% of Morocco's agricultural exports go to the European Union, which is its main trading partner. 2. Mauritius With less than 30% overall self-sufficiency, Mauritius is a net importer of food. Mauritius imports a large portion of its critical food needs because of its small size, lack of economies of scale, and comparative economic benefit of sugar cane. Agricultural imports made around $1.1 billion or 26.1% of all Mauritian imports in 2020. With a market share of 10.5%, France was the main supplier of agricultural imports to Mauritius, followed by South Africa, India, Spain, and Australia. Rice, meat, fish, some fruits like oranges, mandarins, and grapes, pulses, dairy goods, fresh and frozen vegetables, coffee, tea, and spices, cereals, oil, drinks, wheat, and meal preparations were among the items imported. Additionally, Mauritius imports some materials from Argentina, primarily corn and oil cake, and solid byproducts of soybean oil extraction, in order to make animal feed. 1. Tunisia Tunisia imports more food than it exports. Wheat, soybeans, barley, corn, vegetable oils, and sugar were the top agricultural imports in 2021. Olive oil, dates, salmon, and citrus were the top exports related to agriculture. An estimated 1,280 businesses with 10 or more employees each were part of the food processing sector in 2021. About 20% of these businesses only generate goods for export. The output value of this industry, which is roughly $12 billion a year, is continually increasing as a result of shifts in dietary preferences toward the use of processed goods rather than fresh ones. The need for imported high-value ingredients in the food processing industry is gradually rising as more advanced items are licensed by multinational food businesses. Tunisia concludes our list of the most foods to cure countries in Africa. In general, most of the countries on our list today are still pretty food insecure, but it doesn't take away the fact that they are currently implementing policies which are reversing the trend we've been seeing. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and please remember to like and hit subscribe if you haven't. Thanks to you our community grows daily. See you in the next video.